hello guys welcome to Codular app development so in this video I'm going to tell you about how to get uh, values from Firebase to the list view with images so let's get into the video guys so I'm going opening in Firefox the Codular this is my Codular and this is my screen so I have dragged some components here I have dragged one vertical scroll arrangement from this layouts this is the vertical scroll arrangement guys I have dragged this vertical scroll arrangement here and I have dragged a list view with image and text so in search bar you can find list view yeah list view image and text I have dragged and drop it this here list view with image and text and uh, I have dragged one firebase component to here this label 1 and label 2 are for spacing so I kept label 1 and label 2 you can use space component also there uh, that's not issue so this is the firebase component I have dragged and dropped and I have added my firebase token and test firebase URL test database firebase URL so this is my test firebase database guys so I have created a project bucket by clicking this plus button add child and created a project bucket here called as titles and I have added one value this is a tag 6895471234 and uh, this is a value called as coder I'll just add another tag And uh, I'll just add one tag called as Codular. So I have just added uh, another tag 987654321 and I gave a value as Codular. So these are the tags. I'm going to add these tags and I'm going to get these tags and values in this list view image and text component so in the title component I want to get this tag value and in the subtitle I want to get this value component so let's get into the blocks guys this is the designer part I have developed and uh, let's get into the blocks these are some of the blocks I have developed and uh, first you need to initialize to global list view list clue to global list just go to variables and uh, initialize and give a list name like list list two and you can get a component here create empty list and you can add this here so you can create two lists global list I have created a two global list here so after creating two global list coming to this component after screen to initialize I have dragged this screen to initialize component and uh, I have kept the firebase project bucket I have taken this firebase project bucket and uh, I have kept this project bucket as titles here so I have placed this project bucket here as titles and I want to get all the values you can find the get values here in this firebase and I dragged and drop it here this call button I am I have called all the get values tag list so I have get the, I have got all the tag lists so here I have taken the firebase tag list component here this is the event firebase tag list so I have set this global list view here take this variable and uh, you can global list you can set this global list view and you can take this get value and you can add like this I have placed that here in the set global list view get value so all the values tags you get will be stored in this global list so after that I go to the control and I have dragged this component 
for each item list each item in list so after getting this you can give this get value or you can give this global list here so this is not the get value this is the global list all this global list will be added to this for and this item is the tag value you are getting here all the tags i have taken this firebase get value component and placed inside this and added this get item to this tag so you can get all the values of every tag here by by using for loop for each item you will get the value of the each tag so after getting all the tags you have to go to got value this got value is available in this firebase got value so i have dragged the and dropped that here got value and uh, add items to list and list items i it will be available here in the lists take this add items to the list all the values i need to store in a list so i have taken global list 1 this global list 1 in variables i took the get and i set it this to global list 1 and placed it to the list here and uh, i will keep after getting all the tag values just keep the drag get value here and all the values will be stored in global list 1 so global list has all the tags and global list 1 has all the tag values so while adding them to the list view image and text just clear the list view first you will get this clear component in the list view here just add this call list view image and text clear list first you need to clear the list and after that you need to go to control and get this block get this block and you need to remove this five and you need to go to this list and take the length of the list and you need to place this global list one component here so it will get all the list length so you can it will be segregated one by one and it will be added to the list view image and text so it will be segregated by here and i am deleting this component so after that go to the list view image and just like take this list view add item and in the image you can put any image i have no images at present so i am leaving this image as alone or if you want you can keep any image there and uh, in this after getting the values you need to segregate list by index by index but means index 1 2 3 like that you need to segregate everything so this list in go to this list and you will find find a block here select list items you need to add the global list here and global list 1 and get number this get number you need to add in the index so it will be added one by one it will be incremented 1 2 3 like that and it will get the list here and it will be added to this title and subtitle so both the lists have the same size so no problem guys both the lists have same size and the indexes also will be same so that will be no problem since if you have one tag it will get only one value if you have five tags it will get all, all the five values so list will be same if global list 1 and global list has only same values and index is also same so that will be added to this list view image and text so let's test this app here 
I will just reset my connection and uh, I will connect audio PXF. I have been connecting here just a minute. Yeah. See, you got these values here. Test Firebase 9876543211 as codeiller. 9876543211 as codeiller and that value as coder. If I add any value here, it will be reflected. 6849275. I will give my name. Sorry, I'm not in this. You need to give inside the titles tag. Yeah, I have given 684789 as my name. So I will give a test and refresh the companion screen. See, you can get 654789 as my name so if if you want you can add here here another name with a tag like you can give a codeler as a tag name and you can give a value as best android platform so I have given this as a codeler as a tag and a value as a best Android platform. Let's refresh the companion. See, codeler best Android platform. So you can get all the values here by using these codes. I mean by using these blocks. So you can get values here like this. You you no need to add. A, list no need to make lists here like uh, making list taking this make list and uh, giving all values and updating your app no need to make like that you need to create like this and you need to update you you, you can update by using databases like that online no need to give any updates future updates for your apps so this will be useful for controlling all the lists from database itself, no need to give any updates for your list. Uh, somebody makes, some guys make lists with uh, locally and they will call the list here locally, but uh, this is a global list view, guys. You can add values to the Firebase or you can delete values from the Firebase. It will be reflected automatically. Just a minute, I will tell you the values I will delete the values here I will deleting I'm deleting this coder and I am deleting my name so two values I have deleted and I will test here see refresh companion see I have refreshed the two values are gone so like this you can maintain your databases as list views for this is very useful for guys who are using you who are maintaining like uh, uh, business apps for uh, marketing and all uh, if you are maintaining a online grocery store or e-commerce website you need to add lists one by one so you can add your products to your list and you can get through get it through firebase and you can sell your products online so this is how it will be working guys so if you are new to my channel please subscribe to my channel and like us if you like this video also please comment on the comment section if you have any doubts thank you guys